Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we can come to you at any time. We thank you that coming to you doesn't rely on us being perfect, but that we come to you in Jesus' name. And Father, we recognise that we have sinned against you this week, this morning. And we pray that you would forgive us. And we thank you that before time began, that you prepared a way for us to be reconciled to you. Father, we thank you that we've got total forgiveness in Jesus. We thank you that there's nothing that we can do to make our salvation better. Father, we want to worship you for that. We praise you for that. And Father, we want to thank you this morning for being who you are. We recognise that there's so much beauty in this world, despite the fact that it's broken and fallen. And as we look around, we do see that this world is broken and fallen, and we long for the day that Jesus returns. But Father, meanwhile, we pray that you would send your spirit um, to us, to guide us and to help us do your work, Father. Pray that you would help us to do that individually. Father, make us holy, set us apart for your, um, for your work. We also pray that you would help us and guide us to do that as a church, we pray that you would help us um, to be to do good in our community in Penelan and Spot. Father, may you guide us to know how to do that. And yes, we do wish to be a blessing on our community, but Father, we we pray above anything else that we would see people being saved. We want to see people's lives changed by Jesus. Father, we know that you can do this. Father, you've brought revival to this land in the past. May you do it again. May we see you at work. May you glorify yourself and may you send your spirit to us so that we would be able to do your work. Send your spirit to us, Father, in a special way. Father, we want to worship you and we want to praise you and we want to do your work. Use us, Father, for your glory. Father, we pray also for um, this broken world that we live in at the moment. We, we pray that you would give wisdom to world leaders um, to make the right decisions. Father, we pray for our local councillors and MPs. We pray for those at the Senate, pray for those at Westminster. Father, may, they, may you guide them to make decisions that, that look after the most vulnerable in our society. Father, we pray also for um, those who are sick and the doctors and the medical professionals. Father, would you heal people? Would you bring forward a vaccine, Father? We just, we, it breaks our heart to see um, this broken world and we long for Jesus to come back. But Father, would you be gracious? We know that you love people. And we wish to, we want to see, we want to see that in action more and more, Father. Father, we pray also for the situation in the States and here in the UK and all over the world as well. We thank you, Father, that you, you don't see the colour of skin. Father, we pray that um, you would be with the oppressed. Um, Father, we pray that you would help your church as individuals and as a corporate church to know what part to play in all of this. Give us wisdom, Father. May we be a, a force for, for good. May we be a force for grace. May we be a force for love in your name. And Father, we also pray for this service now. We pray for um, Sam as he opens your words to us. Father, forgive us that we can be so quick to be critical and cynical. And Father, just crush that in us. May you open our hearts to listen to what you have to say to us. Soften our hearts and may we be shaped by you and your word. We thank you for your word and we thank you that we can sit back and have it explained to us. Father, talk to us. Show us what you have for us this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen.